is situated within our hearts. This is the Krishna framework. And Sunday Kapunam. It can't be attained from anywhere else. It's already in the heart. But Shravana is the Chitta Purya God. What is the process of Shravana, Kirtan, Smarana? Hearing, chanting, and remembering what happens. This prema begins to manifest. So you can say it's a combination. Southern must be there, but the association of Southern should have that intensive power which we aspire for has to be ignited, just like you have wood. Wood by itself contains the element fire, but it isn't until you take externally some type of match or light, heat, fire, and touch it to the wood, will the wood blaze and the fire from the wood will come out. So in the same way, our study of our natural loving relationship with Krishna is situated within our heart. And through the process of hearing and chanting and the association of devotees who have that wound, then this bomb will manifest. So both must be there. Southern Bhakti and Southern Sun. Southern Kirtan and Southern Sun. So, Ramananda Raya is describing the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as the second. Saki, the super excellence of Matura. Intala Yeshwara Krishna, Arsava Krishna. Everyone is a servant of Krishna. In all process, God is there. And in Matura Rati, God is also there. Saki is there. Matsal is there. But, in Raghuri Rati, everything becomes complete, becomes fully flowered and very, very beautiful. If this Rasa is in Raghuri Rati, not in this world, the entire creation is useless. Krishna specifically manifested beautiful pastimes in Vrindavan just for this, to exhibit the topmost pastimes and show the string of us. So, to understand what we are writing, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has manifested his pastimes and his teachings. And he's describing the reasons for his appearance. And in the fourth chapter of Adi Lila, he describes so much about the nature of the Gopi's love. By understanding the nature of the Gopi's love and then how to write his love, we can understand what we are writing. He said there are three types of qualities of praying. <laughs> One is that it's very, very pure. But at the same time, it's difficult to understand. It's very crooked, it's perverse. Praying is, is the highest. But at the same time, it has no pride. And praying is fully expanded. Everywhere, yet is increasing at every moment. So brain, brain tattva and rasa tattva is not easy to understand, but it can be under, understood through humility because it is very secret. It is like a varna, chandrika varna, like a moonlit path. And only through dedication, service, humility, association with those sadhus who have this mood, Srimad Bhagavatam Dharma, Rasi Guru, Ashra Guru Shama. So, Jatina Ashra is speaking, Sadhu Sangha Sukhuva. If we want to understand these tattvas as expressed by Rayaramananda, or the Kitala Vasudhila Dvatri Rasa, the Srimad Bhagavatam. Then we should hear from one who's tasting that rasa, one who has some ashram, some taste and some 
experience of that person. And that sadhu sadhu should be more, that sadhu must be more advanced than us. He must have the same mood for which we aspire. And most importantly, he should pay for us. He should be merciful to us. We should have some relationship with him. So this is not an intellectual process. To sit and discuss these very, very high topics and expect them to change our heart is not going to happen through a exercise of reasoning or logic. But it will only happen when our bhakti supriti is developed more and more and we associate with those sadhus who have an affectionate relationship with us and bestow their mercy on us. Then we can enter into some of the secrets of Raya Ramana and Sambhad. Otherwise, we'll hear again and again and again our heart will not change. Tears will not come to our eyes. Our heart will not melt. We won't be attached to your intention. But if Bernie first came to the West in 1996, he came to my house in San Francisco. That I grew up from there. Papa Namaraj, his name was Ruth from Papa Namaraj was there. And what was the topic? Pretty spoke this right on the Sunday. So he established the Sunday in our mind because if we don't have firmly fixed the Sunday, then we don't know what's going to perform. Kriti Sunday, Bhavit Sunday, Baba Sasarana Vida, Nityasira Shabala Shah, Prakrita Kriti Sunday. If we're doing Sunday, we should be intelligent and do Sunday. According to this verse, which is the definition of Sanat Bhakti. Sanat Bhakti means to engage in the process of devotional service, like Sanat Kirtan Vishnu Smarana with what? With an with aim, a goal, a subject of Mahabhakti, craving certain moods in our hearts of the residents of the Kavakti. Nitya Siddhasya, Mahalasya, Prakatam Vinisatya. Then this it is a frame which is in our heart, we got something pretty such as that. It will manifest within our heart. So that is the purpose of our practice of bhakti, only to bring about these moods. So I pray to Rupa Ramana, the Raya Ramana, that this katana will enter our hearts in a way that it will melt our hearts, we will understand the meanings that Raya Ramana was trying to express as she did not come out and then we'll take from the Sarkitana from the Sarkitana product something very special that we'll remember when we go back to our countries and do our sadhana from, from wherever we are. That these moods of Vrindavan, these moods of Matuya Rati, especially will manifest. Because that is what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to us. And that is the mercy of Raja So I thank you for
that people uh, in various walks of life can take advantage of this great literature that Srila Gurudev is uh, giving, bestowing upon this world so mercifully. So we have um, a couple of programs which Srimati Shabrani uh, will explain uh, regarding sponsorship for Srila Gurudev's books to be distributed in various places, such as prisons and shops and libraries and so forth. So this is a very wonderful chance for devotees who are not really able in their own lives to go out for distribution, but they can help to sponsor that these books can go here and there. We also have some uh, stock of books that are left uh, on the book tables, which, uh, as, as uh, Shamarani said, have been embraced by Shrimati Jamunadevi. You know, recently there was a very long rainy season, and Jamunadevi uh, rose up and up and up and actually came uh, through the earth into Gobinath Bhavan. And uh, there were many boxes of books that were there, and so some of those boxes were uh, lightly embraced by her. So there was slight, slight damage, and some of those books were tightly embraced by her, and there was a bit more damage, but they're all readable. And so we have these books for uh, the tightly embraced ones for any donation, anything you want to give for them, take them with you. Uh, and the lightly embraced books, um, they're very low, low, low cost compared to the actual prices. So in this way, um, we're requesting the devotees at every festival, Srila Gurudev always says he likes that by the end of the festival, the whole book table will be completely empty and all the books will be going out uh, in the devotees' uh, hands to their various countries like that. So, now Shabbat 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 will explain about this uh, book sponsorship program, which is very, very exciting. I can't believe actually that I'm making this announcement. 
but I think I'm making it across seeing Shiloh Verde's mercy upon you all and seeing your great surrender and sacrificing everything to come here and be with him. These folks are generally $20 in stores, but just for the next five days, there are 200 rupees for one loaf. If you get over five loaves, there are only 150 rupees. And if you get a box of books, or you can sponsor a box of books for anyone else, only 100 rupees, that's only 200 US, two US dollars. And you may think that, well, I have so little luggage space that I can't carry a box of books back. But you can share with so many devotees in your city. They can all take the books and you can recollect them back in your city. So we request that uh, those of you who have been on this walk, those of you who have been on those walks, and want to review those conversations, especially the ladies who couldn't go on the walks. I've heard many reports of devotees who have begun to read this morning walk book called Walking to the Saints, that the devotees actually feel like they're on those walks. So just for the next five days, this very, very special offer. Shula Gurde has requested many times that I don't want my books to remain in cold storage. As soon as they're printed, they should be distributed and reprinted in sacred order. When there were five books being printed, Brahma Samhita, Vajra Arjun Rathya, and a few other books, Shula Gurde said that all these books are calling out, publish me first, don't publish me first, don't publish me first. They're waiting on line, he said. So, as Maharaj said, Shula Gurde was requesting that his whole book here was cleared by the end of the festival, and especially the one that's together in the morning walk book. Uh, starting, okay, Maharaj wants to say something. Okay, just one thing though about the morning walk book. Started in 2008, Rajanath Prabhu takes every single morning walk in Darshan. So before 2008, he didn't. So we're begging all of you that if you have any sound files from 1996 to 2007, and any photographs from the city that Joe Verde did his morning walks in Darshan to add, I can see the sound at the book table and uh, share so that we can make more of the morning walks. She's like my kind of smart. Okay. What do you think about this book? I've read this book. And uh, Mr. Shahani sent me some advanced editing things to look at. He has some idea. And of course I thought, oh my god, I didn't think I wanted it. But I asked the pass about how I can send it. But, I gotta say, if you read this book, you will indeed feel exactly like you're on the walk. And the amazing thing is, it's not just in one place. What you're doing is you're going on tour with Gurudev from one place to another. And it's really beautiful because these devotees, they're us. Each one of these devotees is you asking the questions that you have. And Gurudev patiently explains them over and over. And a lot of times, it's the same question. And they'll give it in a, in a very beautiful and different way. And sometimes it's the same devotee over and over. But after I had read this book, I became so filled with the presence of Purdy and I thought, wow! Because I wasn't there at all this book, but I always wanted to be. And when I read this book, just like she said, I felt I was there. You gotta have this book!
This is one of the only two or three ladies restaurants in our entire sunga around the world. And especially it's right on the Jumana in the palatial Gopinath Swami Temple. So we're inviting ladies to come for a week, a month, a year. Take your talents, your heart. We learn how to take classes, learn verses, sing bhajans, cook, perform archan, publish books, distribute books, engage in administration, management, accounting, whatever talent you have. And if you can come but you'd like to contribute, then that is also welcome. So we have a meeting in a couple of days on a for anyone who'd like to participate, either financially or coming to stay in Gopinath Province. And for more details about that, we ask you to kindly keep coming with me, who's at the registration table in the back. It's a very great opportunity for any lady to perfect her life and for preaching and spreading Christian consciousness all over India and all over the world. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, 